All right, legit. I think we're good to go. All right, let's go ahead and begin. All right, welcome back everyone. Uh, this is Zammer 12 here, and today we right, are playing back, Empire Total War. Uh, Zammer 12 here, and today we are right, playing back, Empire Total War. Yep. <laughs> that was an accidental uh, a play by one of the websites, or Twitch in this case, so. <laughs> and not gonna lie, it's been quite a long time since I've streamed on Twitch in particular, so it's gonna be quite of an interesting night <laughs> tonight. But yeah, I hope you all uh, do enjoy this um, as we do. Uh, through uh, or continue with the campaign uh, in which we started earlier uh, which would be the road to independence and we did that in YouTube so if you ever want to check out the other two remaining parts I've started to add some timestamps to it uh, to make it a lot more easier um, quote unquote especially given that I mainly would start out with the boring lectures of trying to describe the function uh, or the functionality behind the game first before proceeding on to the storyline and so forth uh, just so that people would not fall behind in some ways and also for those that are new to this game uh, would familiarize with it or familiarize to it uh, if there are any parts that that gets confusing then um the other videos would then be able to uh back up or at least be able to explain uh more in depth uh, so yeah so nevertheless uh, let's go ahead and get right into it so as we click on continue campaign we're back in action in this case Okay, so currently we are uh, settled down in the uh, the early form stages. So based on where we're at so far, uh, if we continue down, we have already constructed or started to upgrade the governor's residence so that we could at least gain the 3% bonus uh, in terms of region tax income plus 1% uh, or plus 1 to repression in the region as well. And then we can unlock uh, the other units as well, such as the 24 pound foot artillery that will go a long way. And I believe we will be, I think we already uh, ended the turn for this year. And what i've been thinking of uh, just as of like maybe two three minutes ago was to at least try to lay siege on fort dukens uh just to see if i can at least reduce their army a bit more um there i'm I am aware that there is an army somewhere around this area ish so we'll just have to see how it well it pans out in this case so let's just go ahead and uh, try to get there and our objective right now is to take care of the fort Dukans uh, in this case and most likely well, actually they don't have that many units I just realized they have like a light cavalry three three twenty four pounders if they have like a unit around here, they might be able to retreat and come back to Fort Niagara, but we will go ahead and take care of this actually. I Oh, we only have another turn left, so let's go ahead and build the farm uh, so that we can then 
establish our uh, how should I put it? Our ik our ik economy, I suppose. And our shipyard can only bring us a brig in the sloop. There was at one point we were able to get frigates uh, in this game, but I think it might be later on. So for the meantime, we'll build a local fishery uh, just for the sake of it. I don't think other ports will be open to us, only except for uh, your town in particular. So we'll just have to continue further on. And we currently have at least two units at our disposal, so we'll continue to try and back it up um just in case i'll probably just put one colonial militia here just for the sake of it and we only have 475 gold and let me just quickly double check actually okay the range are about the same just that the colonial militia has a lot slightly better accuracy than the native americans uh they're Defense is also quite low as well. Uh, morale is slightly higher, just by one. So, but they have an additional ten men, so that kind of compensates for it. We'll just have to uh, wing it in some ways. And I think what we'll go ahead and do is we'll go ahead and let me see if I already recruited any of it. Oh, I think I was in the process of recruiting as well, too. Okay, well, we'll make do with what we have in this case. Okay, so that will end our turn. And we already built the peasant farm. Uh, normally, if you have a new technology, it will help you upgrade it and also boost the econ economic growth or the region's wealth and slight in population growth too so we'll go ahead and let's see this one is a lot more profitable i think tobacco was later on a lot more popular so we'll go with that Ready for and then we'll currently have a line infantry at hand so we'll go ahead and try to back it up a little bit later and we'll probably increase upgrade this a little bit after the next turn to at least gain another uh six percent bonus to the taxable re region or taxable income and let's go ahead and actually lay siege just want to see how they react and as for me time we'll go ahead and Oh my gosh, thought, thought I can at least Can't do that, cross through here. That's strange. When defending your territory, it's important to know so I have to go around in this case? That's strange. So Fort Jenkins is actually the one that's blocking the way. I just realized. So we'll just go ahead and try to at least scout out the territory here because uh, we really made a we really negotiated with the uh, native americans in this case i think i had it on text so basically we both gave each other military access and of course plus the trade agreement so let's just go ahead continue further um yeah i think that's about it at the meantime We'll just see how this uh, French army reacts. Maybe they might abandon fort. Um, it's possible. Or they won't. Okay, that's interesting. Wasn't expecting that. Um, let's see. Each year, I feel like the, the, or each turn, the Niagara, fort Niagara gets stronger. Uh, let me see. If, no, this this forest is blocking the way, so that's why. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can scout out. Oh, there you go. Um, ha. Okay, this is um. 
totally unexpected. Wasn't thinking that it was that close. Uh, I can't even retreat on this one too. That's weird. And uh, the strange part is that if I use the auto resolve, most likely this will get obliterated. Especially with the distance and also with the low on ammunition. Unless if I can somehow pan out and manage to snipe one of their marine commanders, then that will probably be the best situation. But we can go ahead and try it out. Um, this is like a good underdog situation, I suppose. For this is totally overwhelming victory for the enemy itself. So, uh, <laughs> and also with rangers, given that they are better off with long distance, uh, you can normally just like fire first and then retreat back as, as far as you can. Get uh, get reloaded and so forth. So. That's uh, normally how I would do it. I think there are a lot of people that will probably do something different. They probably rush it of some sort. So, yeah, if only if I can find out like who it is uh, on this side. Let's see, where where is the enemy? Okay, okay so we got the fruit marines here. We got okay. What I can do, I mean, this is kind of a gonna have it on skirmish mode so that they can easily spread out. I'm not sure which one it is, though, that's the only question mark right now. I know they're gonna be quite tired in just a bit, they're probably gonna rush me. I don't know if this is the one, but we can try to rush it. Oh, they're they're probably within range right now. Oh gosh, I think they already have it in point. Oh my gosh, okay, wait, this is way too many. Okay, we're just gonna have to speed things up. Uh, where is it? Where's the retreat mark? I need to retreat further back, actually. Yeah, this is not gonna be doable. I'm trying to, like, rush to the end point so that I can at least escape on this one because this is not feasible especially if you have like a whole bunch of men just like lumped up yeah that's why I'm trying to like at least get my men out there so hopefully they can like at least stay alive I don't know okay Thing that should do the trick. Unless if they end up just like slaughtering them, that would be kind of sad. Because I thought that I made it to the border, that would mean that, and if no man got shot in the process, so that means that I would be able to keep my home unit at least. And it's almost like sending a helicopter in modern warships. That's basically what it feels like. And I kind of feel bad for... Oh, okay, so this is good. So we still remain intact. So that was a pretty good... <laughs> I'm glad that that kind of worked out. Um, as for the... As for this unit in particular, we'll just have to see how it pans out. Uh, currently have an additional unit that we're going to go ahead and equip. And let me see. So currently we have two line infantry unit. We know that the enemy is right here. They'll probably go ahead and retreat back in just a bit. So we'll quickly at least keep in check. I just oh interesting. Was this the unit that retreated? Oh yeah, it probably is. Okay. Recruitment takes two turns. Probably another cannon. 
Uh, fishing fleet. Upgrading to a dockyard, this tab shows all existing buildings in Plus additional 300 gold. Okay, let's go ahead and do that. I was about to save up for the upgrade on the government. So. Oh, they did retreat. Oh my gosh. Man, this is going to be a little problematic. The populace becomes wearier of traditionally the wives of Russia had a monopoly on the fur trade. But now, other nations have an off when attacking a fort or city. A general can demand that the defenders surrender with the honors of war. If okay, I will definitely need to come back here, actually. I'm probably going to build a miniature army here. Because I have no clue what's going to happen. A little bit just a bit, so... Mm, okay, we are going to save some gold here, and we're going to try to crush them. Actually, is it better if I just lay siege right now, or just do this? I can't overwhelm their fortifications. The only issue is like trying to at least fight off their reinforcements. So that will be that'll be the only issue. So we'll just have to see how it pans out on this one. What I'm hoping for is that it's not this is gonna be a land fight, so we won't have to deal with too many casualties. Because uh, normally, if your fort, if your city is fortified, then it will you be able to minimize the casualties because you have civilians uh, to take care of, to man the cannons on the fort and so forth. So that can be a lot problematic uh, when that happens. And it is it is what I was thinking. Okay, now. If I have to try to reduce as much casualty as there is, and my thing just crashed on me. What on earth? Okay, so for some reason my game just crashed after that. I have no clue how. Maybe this is like there's just too much that's that's uh dealing with, I guess. I have no clue. So we're just gonna have to see how Okay. Now for some reason my let's continue campaign real quick. Okay, I'm not sure if it's because of the loadout, or is it just because... Um, yeah. It's like, this is the first time it's ever happened, honestly, if I were to be quite frank. So yeah, we'll just have to see, I guess, maybe it's kind of saving me from a possible, like, humiliation, I guess. So, I think I'll just take this as probably fate, and for some reason, I can't even move, okay. So now I have to use the mouse to move it, okay. That's interesting. When ready, 
Um, okay, so I'm not... Okay, so... You know what? I'll just go ahead and do this. We'll take care of the 487 men over here. And then be able to... Then replenish it in just a bit. I think I may have overloaded or something. Like that. And the fan is like excessively blowing. Okay, so uh, here it is. And I can't, for some reason, let's see controls. Why is my shape right? Huh, that's awfully weird. Okay, so. Okay. Yeah, so for some reason, only my cursor is able to move back and forth, but my WAUSD is not allowing me to do it. I'm not sure why. A. Wait, Alt A? Yeah, this is not this is like gonna be a slowdown on this one. Okay. Well, I guess I'm gonna have to like wing it in some ways. I don't know. Okay, spacebar works. Eh, at least I'll be able to see what my formation is. Okay. Just have to see how it pans out. Really... Okay. Keep button works. Oh wait, no. Um, so I'll A is to go A. Okay, there we go, there we go, okay. For some reason my <laughs> Controls are working back. Okay. Okay. So we'll just have this. Have our commander right here. Most likely the fortification is going to be targeting the general here. And as for loading of like cannons wise, we'll go ahead and select all of our artillery units. Please uh, line them up. And then this is for unloading over here. So. Let's just go ahead and do this. Then sometimes you can see if your if your mouse cursor is able to then focus on like somehow able to at least lock on, you can automatically lock on in the beginning. Most likely this side might get affected the most. So we'll try to like disperse it in some ways. And sometimes you can see if it's uh, hidden or not. Sometimes it can be hidden. Just need to have the right placement. And I guess this will kind of do it because it uh, looks like they're hidden. Yeah. Uh, but the range is a little bit off on this one. So let's just go ahead and see. Okay, this is it. Okay. They might get striked out first though. So we'll go ahead and have some of our... Line infantry around here ish, just in case if any cavalry does end up coming here. And then we'll go ahead and have some units come over on this side. Because uh, we're going to do an all out flank around here in this area, uh, just for the sake of it. Because uh, this is the probably the easiest uh to take care of um and we might actually have one cannon unit actually over there just in case 
Let me see if I can have proper aim on this one. Like right here ish. I think I can get that locked on. Sort of. No, he's not in my range. What? Nani? Okay, so this is my range. I can't for some reason lock on that one. Huh. That's odd. That's awfully strange. Okay. So for me time, we'll just go ahead. Since we got somewhat visual over here on that barn house, we'll just go ahead and try to cover on all angles in this case. And then we'll just go ahead and strike on all three sides and make our attempt. Uh, to at least try to eliminate any possible threat, we'll go ahead and send most of our the bulk of our units over here to the side, and then the other rest. Hmm, how can I? Hit them hard. Oh, right. I accidentally brought one of the unit right there. Okay, right about here ish. And then have some of our also other units place around here ish. Yeah. And we'll have a light cavalry around this area just in case. And we got the remnants left. Wait a second. Something's a little bit off. Okay, there we go. Then we'll go ahead and have our light cavalry position here. And I think we should be good. Oh wait. Left this one. Okay, actually we're just gonna have two units mix. Maybe around here ish. Just a stretch. Okay, we got at least three sets available in there. Okay. Then we should be alright. Alright, that's the bulk of our men. And we should be able to at least get that firing, I believe. Oh, they got okay, they got some cavalry coming up. Uh, where's my other units? Quickly get that out of the way. Oh gosh, actually I made a big mistake on this one. Yep, they were able to take down my cavalry unit just on time, actually. Or my... Or my inf... my 24-pounder. Let me see if my general can rally them up. Man, that was a big, big blow right there. Uh, let me see. Let me see if we can just, like, unleash... A mess on that one. Okay, now we need to slowly retreat back. No. Okay, cavalry. Uh. Okay, that's one element. This is almost like playing chess right now. It's like basically we got. Okay, basically they're barely surviving on this one. I don't know if we can at least get there. Oh, we got backup on this one. Um. Okay. See if we can at least aim right there. I think we should have proper aim. Actually, I just want to see this. Wait, what? Nani? Wait, 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 wait. No, this is where we're targeting. What on earth are you? 
What on earth are you doing? Okay, other units are not suffering yet. That's good. Just wanted to at least see how it pan out. Oh, that's a miss. Oh my gosh, okay, we probably have to realign this one. Mm, how am I gonna... I need to flank this unit. Okay, you know what? I'm gonna send in... Oh, oh my gosh, you're gonna get two explosives. Okay, time to send in our colonial to at least flank. I think, hopefully, man, they're getting targeted hit. They're gonna hit real badly on there. I'm gonna also send at least a couple more men over there. And let's see. Let's see if we can get a better shot on this one. Oh snap, they actually got artillery units somewhere around there on the very up the hill. They have an advantage on that one. Okay. Okay, let's go ahead and see if we can knock that down. Then we'll rush all of our units up there. Actually, do I have... Okay, I have another colonial units. Okay, we're going to do that. And... How many do I have in my disposal in this case? No, they're not doing that well. Okay, we'll just aim for they're straight in the heart. Okay. Actually, we can do this way. We can go ahead and rush them. Mm, we're gonna utilize them for see if we can like snipe them in the distance. I'm going to try to get to there. Then have our men surround them from the back. That's basically what we're going to try to do. Hmm, artillery can't even hit this building. I can't believe it. Okay, let's see. Is there a way somewhere around here? In this light? Nope, you have to cross the bridge in order to do so. Let's try to see if we can close up the distance. Right. Oh gosh, okay, wait, wait. Time to fall back on this one. Okay, now we'll just go ahead and... Oh my gosh, I'm getting targeted. Hmm, okay. Man, this is going to be a big blow. Okay. Actually, we'll go ahead and slow down a bit in there. This one, we need to get them to position right here. I'm trying to use the cavalry as a bait right now. Then we'll go ahead and... Oh, we might be able to target them. Okay, colonials are good at the moment. Oh my gosh, actually they're trying to flank me right now. Mm, I need to. Okay, 
get them out of the forest, actually. Okay, perfect. All right, that's what I needed. Then cavalry should now be able to then target there, and then artillery should be able to at least be able to at least focus on them. I want to try to also take down this unit and try to proceed on to here. That's the only catch right now. Actually, I'm going to try to regroup it into a little bit more. See if we can manage to at least squeeze in a bit. Oh, that's perfect. Alright, we already got knocked down one battery right there. That's all I needed. Then can rush cavalry on that one. Then we'll go ahead and position our men this way. When did I? Okay, let's go ahead and try to recover. It's only 16%. Are you serious? What's going on? Hmm. Okay, we just gotta at least. Now we're just going to rush them now. And also followed by using our general somehow. I'm not sure how to make any plays of them. Hmm. Can put them as a supporting side, I guess? I don't know. Oh, actually, we can just like cut them off. Huh, he's not gonna move any of his units, so huh? interesting. I'm gonna put him into the scrap line or a scrimmage. Sixteen percent. Okay, something is off. Okay, I need to unload and then redirect it. We have it in our vision though. How is it possible that we are just like missing all of our shots? That's the weird part about it. Now we should be able to Maybe we can How much do we have? How much space do we have? Okay. Oh my gosh, we're just gonna have to rush melee this one. And then this one, we're gonna have to at least focus fire on this. Oh, 
Oh, they're rushing. Shit. Okay. I'm gonna have to rush them as well. Actually, I'm gonna try to pull back. Then gonna go ahead and just shoot them here. Oh my gosh. Okay, we cut them off on there. Okay, that's good. Then we group back. Place them here. Perfect. Now we can take care of the artillery down there. I wonder if I can get a good shot on this one. I'm gonna have to realign on this side. I wonder if I have some men that are available at our disposal. Hmm? Alright, so what in the heck is going on? I thought... Oh my gosh, they're, s they're pretty much well positioned. So basically I have to go all around this hill in order to flank him. I thought there was a... I thought I could climb up this hill. I guess not. Uh, well, hot for me time. Bring back our cannons from down there. Oh gosh. Okay, I'm going ahead. I think we got two side pretty much well equipped. And we're somehow firing above them. I don't know why. Okay. Gonna at least do our best to. We only got 44 minutes. Okay. I think these are above. Okay, well rested. Okay, we're gonna try to split into three groups and then rush into base. They only got at least. 90 troops available. For these ones, so this is going to be interesting. Maybe I can, like, somehow taunt them? I don't know. I feel like I'm gonna be okay. This should be within the range, I think. Okay, now we can just like rush in now on this side. Let's see, what do we have available? Okay, this one is gonna be our reserves. Then we're gonna have to see if they would do, be able to do the trick. Oh, wait, huh? They're firing? What? More on earth? They got range? How are they firing though? What they what are they firing? Hmm. 
Okay, seems like this is really out of their own. I can't believe, like, they're just, like, this close of a distance. Okay. I mean, given that that time is pretty inaccurate, so I suppose. Uh, not within range, okay. Oh, what the heck? Okay, gonna try our best to. Hmm, I'm gonna send one army here just to see if we can provoke them. Then send one army here. Probably actually two military, two army units there. Just to rush it. Okay, legit. Alright, we should be able to at least take aim on this one. Get a little bit more closer and just... Hmm, okay. Hopefully it won't do too much damage. I'm gonna use this one as a backup. Oh, snap. Okay. Gonna use it as a bait now. Hopefully, I didn't take too many casualties on that one. Actually, huh, this is actually a good idea. We should just like flank them from right behind. Actually. Nah, we're just gonna rush it. Can we squeeze in a couple units here? Uh, that's hard. It's kind of hard to do so. Maybe if they are that preoccupied, I might be able to rush them. Nope, doesn't seem like they're preoccupied. But, at least we are able to take out their cannon units. Oh, uh, that's that's pretty good. Now we can just like fire on them, take care of that, and can we get aim on this one? Oh my gosh! I thought I had a couple units hidden. I guess so. Okay, now I can then- Oh! I just demolished this whole entire- Oh, okay. That's interesting. That's pretty good. We actually cut them off pretty well. Okay, now we can then actually focus. Actually, why not we take- Aim on this one. Okay, what is this? Come in. Oh my gosh, this is perfect. This is perfect. To me. Oh my gosh, wait. Okay, time to rush.
Keep them under check. Thought they were gonna fire. I guess not. Building captured perfect. That was his palace. I think that's the commander or the general. Huh. I think I cut them off pretty well. So normally it's like consists of like the general bodyguard and so forth, so and that's the general right there. I don't know how we're not getting it. My goodness, if we don't get him, yeah, that's gonna be brutal. Okay, let's just quickly get the general real quick. There we go. Alright, that's the general. Shaki de Villier. And then we're gonna try to... Oh, okay. Their army is already decimated. Okay, that's about it. Gosh, that was painstakingly brutal. Oh my gosh. Okay. That was pretty good. I mean, even though we kind of overwhelmed them really with the numbers, but still. Dang, they were able to inflict 132 casualties in the process. That's impressive. With such few men. I didn't even send in my reserves as well. But yeah, I guess kinda of doable. Uh, okay. Oh nice, okay. Additional recovery. So you can appoint commander as well or general, so that's in case. And construction wise, we might also repair it, which takes one turn. And we also, uh, hopefully be able to repair the situation. I wonder how many steps. Okay. Okay. I th think I'm going to save on this one, and we'll just put, um, overwhelming numbers. Okay. Okay, so that was the end of the fifth turn. Okay. Oh, interesting. The Urquoise is actually coming after it. Which I'm hoping that they'll be able to obliterate. That's the only question. Or hoping that they will do something about it. And let's see, recruitment wise, I think I'm fine. I'll just wait for another huge, uh, a huge upgrade. Peasant farm, okay. I'm gonna send in one unit. Oh my gosh, no, 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 no. Um, okay, I guess not. That was not... Uh, how do I get through here? For goodness sakes. So do I have to, like, get out of the fort in order to do so? Okay, let me just do it this way. Go back like this. Then we're just going to ahead and ransack the farms. 
burn that farm and then come back here and oh it's it's already i didn't have to rebuild it for some reason Okay, we will I think what I wanna do is like I'll just wait until let's see if he's gonna back out. Oh snap. Um wasn't expecting that. Wow, that was close call right there. I didn't. Oh, I forgot that they replenished over there. Thought the Eurocoist would do something about it. Guess not too early. And... Interesting. Okay. Think that should be enough. Couldn't recollect. Yeah, let's go for it. Yep, that should be enough. Alright. I guess at that time it used they used to rely more on numbers rather than the quality of the units at that time. Well, it also depends as well, so. I mean, some have like fought with even lesser units and still won. Uh, this also depends on the strategy being used as well, so. Wall. Hmm. It's always good to have the higher ground, but eh, sometimes you just gotta work with what you have and try to bait them as well too. Sure, you better to have the high ground right here too. Oh, they had a cannon. Okay. Okay. They had some Iroquois as well, or they had some other Native American units as well, too. Yep, right there. See, we can always. Is this... Do we have the upper hill? Hmm. 
Yes, we do. Oh my gosh. What is, what are they doing? Let's see. Go ahead and charge on their right, left flank. May be able to mash them, actually. I think. Okay, now we can then regroup back. I'm gonna try to take in this less of a casualty in this case. I'm gonna try to bait them, I guess. Okay, now they're closing in, actually. If I had a canister shot, I'll probably be able to at least inflict a lot more damage. Huh, how is our light infantry not able to take down their cavalry? That's range. Hmm. That's not really strange. Oh my gosh. Okay, wait, wait. Oh my gosh, this is bad. This is real bad. Okay, we need to get out. Oh, that was such a big blunder right there. How much space do I have? Okay. Definitely go through there. Okay, now we'll go ahead and try to position ourselves there. Oh my gosh, wait, they have some foot runes there? Well, okay, we're definitely, we gotta rush back. Oh, nice! We got their commander, or their general. Let's see this. No, who is it? Over the moon, the dark. Oh, interesting. Uh, oh, they're actually closing in. Okay, let's try to rush it. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay. Actually, I'm not sure if they can take that. They nearly took down our general, though. That was a close call right there, too.
you let's see see how much we can how much more casualties we can inflict then our cannons we can then look less oh this is gonna be a close call Oh my gosh, he's actually attacking like right outside the boundary too. Just realize. Or is it? No, it's not. Okay. Hey. Oh my gosh. Now our general is getting shot at. Okay. Huh, how can 10 people, 10 bodyguards defeat at least another 29? Uh, that was necessary. Oh my gosh. Nearly obliterated my own general's army in this case. Those, those were some close call. Like what? Okay, I better save on this one. I really don't know what the possibility it can provide. Holy snap. Okay, that kind of worked out. Okay, that's legit. And then I believe we need to recover some of them. Then I believe we can return back. And if you see like smoke on like a farm or some sort or the enemy farms, then that means it is uh, damaged or so. You can actually reduce their, uh, it kind of creates a nuisance to your enemies. Uh, in this case, like to the AI, uh, because he has to repair the peasant farms. I'm thinking of like, let's see how much movement can I make? I might be able to like occupy this and then come back. Then come back. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Now I created some sort of nuisance. And then we'll go ahead and try to upgrade this next turn. Hey, perfect. Back to And then you can recruit sloop by clicking on this as well. And sloops generally are not that well armored. So just keep that in mind if you're ever thinking of recruiting a sloop. It's good for transporting soldiers, I would say. Uh, a lot more efficient that way. But as for like combat wise, it, it's rec uh, normally I would not recommend this at all. Okay. Let's see. Our men are almost probably another turn or so before we are able to then um, let's see before we're then able to oh snap didn't realize it okay perfect we took it Okay, there you go, I'll let the talking go by.
Okay, widget. Um, so yeah, here is the chapter two. Or, or, or... There we go. All right. So yeah, so we're currently on chapter two, and we have already taken care of Fort Niagara. We didn't have to really deal with this army yet. Um, however, this is gonna be a nuisance a little bit later. Um, just keep that in mind. So we're gonna go ahead and quickly repair. I think there were some units around here. I think so. That could be that could pose as a problematic situation so we'll go ahead and try to reinforce here Fort Dunsk and let's see what can we do can we just like let me see if I can walk through here just to get a better idea because I think there was a another fort right here yeah then we if we continue down this route we can then continue up to Upper Canada and I believe there were some ships nearby here. And of course, she's talking about taxation. And taxation can be seen over here. If you click on this government uh, icon. And right now, we can see that the monarch is George I. And prestige rank is sublime, apparently. And you can also see how much expenses is being taken out because of the current uh, total outcoming, which is the army upkeep and uh, mainly army upkeep. Currently, the income is like 6,345 gold per turn, or I guess for the meantime, you can also adjust the tax level um, for this, um, especially if you already conquered um, the Fort Niagara area. You can increase taxes, which will then increase uh, repression or increase um, anger on the nobility wise. Um, you can also see how it's red ish, but if you lower it down, of course, it'll be green. But at the meantime, I think they're all good because um, cause taxes are relatively normal. And you can also see how much of these goods are being transported, um, especially if you if you're if you have a trade partner in particular. You also have uh, you can also see how much you're transporting, how much goods you're transporting as well, and how much is worth in the world market as well too. So currently, tobacco is kind of or I think tobacco is. Hmm. Oh yeah, tobacco is. It's actually a lot lower than cotton. Oh, interesting. Maybe I should have bought, uh, built a cotton farm. Not gonna lie. Huh, okay, whatever. And I think you can also adjust cabinets. Oh, maybe later on. Uh, later on, if you have, like, uh, you'll be able to kick out certain people. Uh, such as those that are currently taking care of your army like expenses and so forth so yeah okay so for the meantime we have this one that one to deal with waiting for the upgrade on here so let's go ahead and end turn let's see what happens next all right, so he did become a nuisance. So yeah, as you can see, this is an enemy raid, and he basically settled caused the damage to one of my properties, and I am not even fully recovered yet for some reason. And now I have to deal with this nuisance, really. So he has three light infantry and also a whole bunch of Native American musketeers. And this can somewhat pose an issue. Uh, for meantime, we can also recruit Army General. Let me just see how much expenses there is. Okay. 
I need to somehow be able to generate some income. So we'll go ahead and repair the peasant farm that I just burnt down. I was hoping that they would repair it earlier, but I guess they didn't. Um, for the meantime, so this is how you can move through. Uh, the further down, um, over here with all the green boundaries, this is where you can move through. Uh, anything outside where the red arrow is dragging along, that means it's a no-go. Uh, you will just have to wait for the next turn. And over here, we can just like travel as far as we can. Uh, most likely, we will encounter a naval fleet, and that is a sloop too. Okay, we might be able to get into like a sloop to sloop battle. Actually, let me just save because haven't done any of these naval battles for quite a long time. Honestly, I can only handle like at least one ship at a time. More ships can lead to the possibility of losing it. And most, I think there was another fleet around here, like a whole full fleet. So just bear that in mind. And not gonna lie, I don't think. Let me just. Ah, just a bunch of... Okay. Nope. Okay, since we're, I guess, allies, we can't really open negotiation. Yeah, no doubt. Okay. Okay, let's see. Let's see. Can we somehow bypass them? We can probably bypass them. Actually, I could have just burnt that one. I just realized. I could have just burnt this. Oh, I have to travel to there? What? There's only one route? What? Oh, because of this mountainside, I suppose? I don't know. Oh, strange. Okay. Native American units aren't doing jack. Hmm. Okay, let's just recruit a general here. And then you can also see the character traits at times. Um, whenever it... Sometimes you might get some other strange trait like drunkard or so. If it stays too long within a base of some sort. And uh, you can also tell how many stars or attribute level. Um, the higher it is, the better it gets. And sometimes you'll you'll get awarded a certain sword or some sort uh, along the way. And you can, if you click the magnifying glass, you can always track down where your general is currently located. Um, as for the meantime, it may not be a smart idea. I'm guaranteeing you just like. 60, 60, 60, 180 already, plus 90, which is 360, no, they have 5 units, that means 450 plus this one, plus the 180, makes it around 630, 630, 630 units, 240, 320, 20 plus 220, 520, that's not enough. Yeah, that's not enough, man. I don't think I can recruit on time. Yeah, I don't... I can't recruit on time. I'm gonna have to force him to do a... a port battle or some sort. Okay, we'll go ahead and recruit a light rune. And I think that should end our turn. Oh my gosh. Okay. Wonder if they how much can we upkeep? 
before we end up bankrupt. Okay. I guess this is a huge sacrifice right here. Hmm. Okay, what I'm going to do is this. I'm going to try to quash this ASAP. Extra units, perfect. Can't get it lower though, that's the only issue. What? Oh my gosh. That kind of backfired? Okay. Hmm. Yeah, that absolutely backfired on me. Huh. <laughs> okay. Uh, let me just see. Just in case if I screw up. Just in case. Alright. This is gonna be slightly brutal, I might have to say. I was thinking that my that my placement of units were right next to each other so I would be able to reinforce one another but in this case I did not seems like I didn't do it properly on this one only if I can get their general then that will help alleviate our situation I just need to know how to I just need to know which one it was uh, which one it is let me see I have a better angle on this one. Sort of. I think I got a somewhat better angle. Okay, I'm gonna try to bait them somehow. Uh, I wonder how I'm gonna bait them. That's the only question. There are remain hidden, so Yes, I can try to create some look look alike gaps, I guess. That's what I can do. That was secured the edge there. They might try to flank around this side, so we'll just go ahead and try that way. Then use Commander as a bait right here. See which one can they hit though. Oh, we got three out. Okay. 
think they're trying to restructure their units for some reason. Okay. Oh, that was going to be a bullseye right there. Oh, no, that's not a bullseye. Dude, what if this artillery unit just end up just like hitting one of their commanders like right on the spot? Yeah, I'll be so surprised. Not gonna lie. Oh boy. I wish I had some like light cavalry on this one. That would have been a lot more helpful. Oh, oh, here they come. Wait, these are all the foot marines though. Where's the Yurkles? Or the, I meant, the other opposing one. That's strange. Dude, why don't we just like, fire just right in front of us. Just like a bully. Wow, or some sort. Fire down for that. Two of their un main units are just like completely obliterated on that one. Not yet, though. Sometimes it's a miracle, you know, to see like how two of their main units are just like the ones that are just like rush forward. Let me see. That should be a bullseye right there, I would say. Uh, that was off. That was off by a bit. Okay. Um, try... Oh, no Stephen Curry shots, okay. Oh, here they come. Okay, okay. Coming back for round two. Let's see. Oh, oh, that was so close. That was pretty close. Okay, now they're within our sight. That is brutal. Just imagine being in one of those crowds right now. And just getting shot at. Yeah, that's massacre right there too. Hmm. So this is the case. Huh. Wonder. Route huh? You know what? I'm just gonna go ahead and place it right here. Yeah, 
I'm gonna see what's going on here. That doesn't make sense. Like, why, why would they be sending their main, main force with their general in it, though? That's... South, so this might be the one that I need to hit hard. Okay. Right there. Let me just see if I can lure them somehow. I don't know. Lure the native, their, their ally out of the way. And I'm going to try to reposition myself again. They're probably hidden somewhere around here, though. Can't say for certain, but... Oh wait, what? No, wait, wait, wait. This is not right, actually. Somebody's not right. This one. Something is up. I, I can't say for certain. Like somewhere around here is just kind of sketchy. I'm gonna see what's going on on that side. Oh snap, yep, yep, something was off right here. I knew it. Uh, they were hitting somewhere around here this whole time. Oh my gosh, okay. Oh, son of a gun. I did not realize they were... Oh, snap. Oh, snap. Need to pull back. Oh, they're trying to take out the artillery unit first. Oh my gosh. Okay. Stay with us here. Stay with us here. We can eliminate the commander right here, right now. That'll help us out. Actually, what if we just like pinpoint slaughter them right here? Wonder if charging at them would be wise, even with a general. Oh, we did? Nice, dude. Joseph Delancey, huh? Interesting. Wow, that was impressive. 
So that was the right regiment that we actually needed to take down. That's how interesting it gets. Continue. Oh, no, 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 that one, that one. I don't want it. How many more units can we take down on this one? Oh, they are 55. Need to at least take down another 10 more, I would say. Before this unit gets eliminated. Holy snap, dang. That kinda well that kinda worked out. Huh. Who would have knew? Or who would have knew that would happen? We were like short by at least a hundred men on that one. Alright, I think that's that's good enough for today. My goodness. Crazy how we were able to take down that much. 690 to 508. Oh my gosh. How much more movement can you do? Hmm. It might be a waste to re replenish them. Which one? Army up costs will be a lot more higher. And then now we can do a naval battle. Yeah, overwrite this one. Okay, so it's like half and half right now. So I think this is gonna be. Um, it's almost like a, I treat it as like a duel or some sort. If I can capture it, then that'll be even better. So. Probably have to speed it up a bit as well. So that I don't bore you guys to death. I think they got the upper hand, I don't know why. But then in terms of the wind direction, we have the upper hand, so we're going to take advantage of it. And then of course you can see like the compass on this guy, uh, which gives you the direction of where the wind is blowing. So right now we have somewhat of an advantage, we can probably, and this is our range at the moment, so anything faded is a little bit out of our range. Got cannon shot, round shot, chain shot, and grape shot, grape shot used for uh, Oh snap. Grape shot is used for just demolishing their crew crew wise. And want to always like kinda of sell back and forth fish. That's what I found kind of more effective wise. But then showing a little bit to the rear side can be a little bit risky in this case. Trying to at least get some of the shots in. I 
at least attempting to dodge some of his shots. Okay. Okay, you're gonna try to bait him a little bit more. Nope. He's trying to flank me to the left. I'm trying to see which one I damage. Okay, I damage more on the right side, I think. Ooh, oh my gosh. He shot me in the rear. That's broadside to broadside. I mean, that was pretty accurate. Oh, winds against my direction. Ah, most of my cans are just like disabled. And you can tell how many cannons you have in comparison to that. Holy son of a gun. This is a close call. Continue, maybe we can like at least damage the sails. Ah, uh, okay, we can't we can't do it. I was thinking about using the chain shot to at least dismantling the sails so I can at least capture it. But it's most likely gonna flee, I think. Then we have to like do round two for another battle, which uh, I prefer not to. Yep. Oh, it sunk. Never mind. Uh, now I try to give myself some space, and we can just try to wing it. Uh, most likely, there's going to be a huge fleet somewhere around here. Yep, like that one. Wait, what? Mm, actually, preferably not. Okay, we'll just keep it remaining right here. As for the meantime... <laughs> oh boy. It might sound like a huge unit to track me down, but... Hmm, I wonder how many of the units can get replenished. Uh, let's just try at least mm, minimizing the casualties. Yeah, there you go. Mm, oh, that's going to cost 225? Yeah. That's not worth it. Okay. Oh boy, I couldn't repair that. Okay. I'm gonna need to repair that for trading the next one. Okay. Save this. Um, we'll do the beginning, I guess. Yeah, the beginning. Let's see how much of this did I keep? Uh, wow, it's a lot more higher than I expected. Okay, especially with the repair costs now for this ship, this might no oh, thirty one gold. Oh, okay, that's good. With more reinforcements, now I can just demolish this one. Okay, seven twenty to repair that. Dang, that's expensive. Take care of that, and then go back into... Oh my gosh. Hmm. What if we end up sending our units and countering this? Ah, oh, that might build us another huge revenue. Just realize. Huh. It's actually not bad of a plan. Okay, let's... Go ahead and reunite with this one. We will... How much expenses do we have? Oh, we don't have... Uh...
would be to at least have another army flank around here try to capture uh, the Iroquois territory over here um, just so that we can get a little bit more additional economic bonuses um, and then proceed on forward to New France or Upper Canada and so I feel like if I end up exposing this side um, if this part gets unve unveiled that might pose an issue so Go ahead and quickly quash this army real quick. And they have a decent amount of units actually. Okay. Hmm, interesting. Hoggers. Okay, whatever. Um, yeah, so... Let's go ahead and take a look at our formation real quick. Uh, I kind of sometimes repeat myself a bit uh, with certain formations uh, because uh, just for the sake of simplicity, it helps me out. But sometimes if it gets a lot more complicated then I might uh, re uh, readjust that formation. Is it even within that range? It's within the range, but accuracy is like really off. Okay. I see another 29 soldiers with that right there. Oh, they're actually running straight at us. Hmm, interesting. It's like my whole entire. Area, my whole entire units are mainly exposed. Wow, they're really that confident too. Let's see. Oh, that uh, that was slight direct hit. Hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, wait, wait. Let me just hold fire real quick. 
Oh, they fell for a trap. Yep. They they assumed that one one of my ranger units wasn't there. Okay, we'll just go ahead and see how far this goes. Hopefully, you adjust that. Place it right there, ish. I think this will be able to take care of a lot of her. A variety of angles. Let's see. That's absolutely perfect, alright. Might get a bullseye on this one. They're literally, they're literally trying to bait. You know? Oh, yep. They literally got me on that one. Dang, they took down 20 of my units too. They reform or regroup. Oh snap. They were just like hiding that close. Huh, interesting. Who would have knew? I, I wouldn't have known. That's crazy though. I wasn't expecting them to like appear right in the middle right here. Oh, I still have 80 units. That's good. Forgot about these 80 units. Okay, I think that's good to know. Let's see if we can cover ground. Increase our exposure. Here. Advanced board. Half our cannon. Somehow redirecting to here. Hmm, it's not coming out. Oh, interesting. That'll force our way through, I guess. Oops, I need to stop this one. Oh, with a name? No, it's slightly not with a name. Oh, now it's with a name. Oh wait, it's a mix of units now. I just realized. Dang, looks like a three musketeers for some reason. I think that's it.
What? How on earth did they manage to survive that? My goodness. I thought I already obliterated them. Oh, strange. Up in Michigan, territory fire. Dude, they're just going to come back and bite me. Eh, we'll just go ahead and replenish. Hmm. Hmm, this is going to be problematic. You know what? I want to wait out this turn. Hmm, okay. Spencer seems... Wait, what? Did they... Okay, they didn't recruit in a lot. Okay. Oh my gosh. Um. Hmm. You know what? Okay, you know what? I give up. Uh. Go ahead and. I'll dispatch one, maybe two units here in the farm. Group back up over here ish. I think I should have gotten one more 24 pounder. That would help me a lot. Man, do you have like a hopeful unit? Why don't you just attack this? That's strange. Yeah, let's see what happens next. This is going to be completely even. I think this is going to be the case. I'm just gonna risk it. Screw it. Eight eighty three. My gosh. Just gonna lay siege. Wasn't expecting that many troops on this one. Totally miscalculated that one, too. Huh. 
coin tech, right? Really? What on earth did I just do to them? Oh my gosh. Wow, their repression is high. Tax burdens, agriculture. Hmm, this is going to be problematic. Right? Lessen the taxes of this. Hmm, no. Oh my gosh, we're going to be in negative. Okay. That's not good. We need to keep our taxes up, though. And this is so unfair. Okay, whatever. This is a game. Uh, okay. I'm gonna go ahead and try to group up over here as well. Hmm. That's strange. Not the sloop is somewhere around there. Oh snap, that was not what I was expecting. Okay, we need to retreat. Okay, we got the port. Let's see. Where could they have possibly gone though? That's the question. Let's send in one unit over there just in case. Oh no, we're hitting our negatives. Something is off. Okay. Lewisburg and Dockyard. Okay, Lewisburg is all the way down there. Huh. I've completely lost my objective on this one then. Sort of. Mm -mm. Okay. We'll take care of... Mm, or Iroquois territory real quick first. 
think. Um, let's see. They weren't that well equipped over there, I think, but they still have some men around there. Hmm. Okay, I need to build a market. Oh, it's not 31% tax rate. Hmm. Interesting. My goodness again. Yeah, they're bullying me with the their navy. Oh my gosh. I'm probably gonna have to rush it. Mm. Okay, we're going the long way. Oh my gosh. Nani.
Hmm. Storming it would not be efficient. So we'll just quickly try to wreck their current side right here. Where are they even aiming at? Damage 21%. Okay. I'm gonna try to knock down the horn sign real quick first. Which one's the best defender? Okay, we dismantled that one. Okay, that's legit. I don't know about this part. Can we dismantle that side too? Really? We're gonna finish off that side first. have we destroyed so far? Oh nice. Dismantled that side too. Once this whole thing collapsed, we're just gonna go charging in. Oh snap, they're actually doing self-inflicting themselves too. I think. Where are you guys aiming at? My gosh. Oh my goodness, they're trying to aim at their own walls too. That's absolutely perfect. That's what we need. How shall we do this? All their armies are just like. Oh my gosh, that was just like a line drive. B line drive right there.
Okay, time to shoot above the heads. Oh my gosh, we just demolished that real valley. Normally people would actually take forts by just like capturing it, but for me I just like destroying it. Even though it's at the cost of... Even though it's at my expense. Oh boy, okay, I need to get out of that one. Oh boy, that's not the right area. What is this? Oh, armed citizenry? I didn't realize that we were already engaging. Oh snap, I need to pull back. I just realized. Hmm, let's bring the cannons a little bit more closer. Wow, we just closed off all their gates as well too. That's pretty interesting. Oh, they're rushing out? Why don't you just charge at them? I don't know why. Why we're just shooting at you guys.
Oh my gosh, we actually took down one of their generals. How fast? Exactly talk to him. Interesting. Maybe he was like within. Which unit was he in? Oh my gosh, what on earth? Where did they appear? Well, I barely even use my cavalry in this case, so it's strange. Oh wait, could be used for this one, and... Shouldn't be any more military units left. Huh, oh, sure in all two sides. Oh, interesting. Normally I would blitz through this campaign by following all the objectives, but then this one in particular I just couldn't resist. This is like the first time we ever taken for carry on actually, not gonna lie. Thing Oh my gosh, that took too much funds. Yeah, 493. Yeah, that should be doable. I wonder what's the taxes for this one.
Yeah, that man seems to leak. Only I can somehow do something about it. Is Oh my gosh. Close call, close call, okay. And this is not doable. Take us seven forty. Oh my gosh. <sighs> Let's see if we can retain this area. Was this the cannon either that I actually needed? Oh my gosh, you're really serious. Is that close by? Okay. Wasn't expecting that. Okay, that's strange. Okay, rebuild that. I think the walls need to be repaired. I guess no repairs needed. Okay. Can I travel in the road that is less walked on? You know what? I'm just gonna burn this loop now and think about this. We're just gonna win with only land forces only. Oh my gosh, really? I forgot about the troops here. Can I have them rejoin there? Currently, repression is pretty good. Hmm, that is strange. Hmm, okay.
Okay, we'll just go ahead and surround that area. Get our more troops. We should be able to take down Acadia in just a bit. Hmm. I think it's too late already to do so. Hmm. Eh, we won't need to finish this objective. Possible treasury reward. Eh, no need for that. Let's see. We'll transport another three set of cannons there, another set of units there, this, send some of our experience units. And you get three nice seven. Okay. I'm just going to save it for next time. Alright, just in case it is. Alright. Cool. Uh, thank you all for taking the time to watch this stream. And uh, nevertheless, uh, we will be continuing on with it uh, on the next one. And I look forward to streaming here in Twitch for a bit more. And probably stream other games as well too. Uh, nevertheless, thank you all and wish you all the best. Alright, peace out.